morning guys i just decided to take trooper for a walk this morning it's like my break day from the gym and he is having so much fun i forgot how much he loves to go on walks like just outside of our backyard do you hear him like squealing he just wants to go explore everything and it just started raining so i'm trying to hurry him along because i do not want to get completely soaked out here yeah we're gonna go home we've been walking for a while now we gotta hurry the rain is coming you can see the rain coming down on my glasses i'm sure it could be worse this is florida it like looks so nice outside i don't even see clouds but yet somehow i'm getting rained on hey guys so it's much later now it's actually almost 11 30 and i just dropped off all the packages i ran through the post office really quick spent most of the morning packing orders and i didn't share it in the vlog because i was just in the zone and to be completely honest with you guys my office like where i store all of my inventory in my office closet is so bad right now like i'm embarrassed to show any part of the order packing process because it's just such a mess in there i really desperately need to take an entire day and just go through inventory and update things and clearance down things that have been on my site for too long you know i like have random sizes of just like one or two things left i need to clearance those out and reorganize like my bins and my storage for pretty much everything because it's just such a mess and when I'm packing orders it's not like a nice simple process it's like oh my gosh like my inventory says I have three smalls left in this shirt like where is it I took my hat off because it was making my head sweaty and ironically put my denim jacket on but I just got to at Starbucks now I picked up my order at Target and I'm gonna go in here have myself an iced coffee and get some shit done. I have to plan out photo shoots for Thursday. I'm shooting with two models on Thursday for the boutique. Finally gonna get some new arrivals on the freaking store again because it's been too long. And um, I have to work on my spreadsheets. I haven't done my spreadsheets for the business and that's how I keep track of all my expenses and everything. So I gotta get caught up on that. I am back home now. My eyes are literally driving me crazy. I have to go get a spray tan tonight, so I don't want to take my contacts out. Struggles of being blind because then when I'm in the spray tanning machine, obviously I have to take my glasses off and then it's like difficult to see and it just, it's not fun. So I try to keep these in until after I spray tan and then I don't really care at that point, I'll take them off. But I have a bunch of packages to open, so I thought I would unbox for you guys. What better content than this? I actually have a really exciting package. You guys will not believe who literally sent me stuff. Oh my God. I already opened it because I was way too excited, but freaking Alani New reached out to me and said they wanted to send me some stuff. They just asked for my address. They didn't ask me what I wanted or anything. So I had no idea what I was getting. They just said they were gonna send something. And I was so freaking excited because you guys know that for years now, I have loved Alani New for all of my nutrition stuff. Like I drink their protein powder, um, their BCAAs I always use in the mornings when I work out. And then um, a while back I was doing like their protein fit shakes, fit bars, and then years ago, their energy drinks. So I love the brand. It's like the only brand that I ever use for all of this. So they sent me a big box with a shaker cup box of the cookies and cream um fit snacks which this is pretty exciting because i really really love these i was buying them for a while from gnc but it was getting kind of expensive um but these are such a good like post gym protein bar and i haven't had the cookies and cream one and then they also sent their breezeberry pre-workout and i have not tried the breezeberry yet so i think this could be a new one from them a new flavor or something i don't know or maybe it's been around for a while and i just never tried it but it's a pre-workout which i do not normally do pre-workout scares me a little bit but i probably will end up trying this and i'll probably just do like half of what it says just to take it easy on myself i know there's some people who love pre-workout and swear by it like it helps them get through their workout they feel like they can lift heavier and they don't get as tired as quickly but 
for me. Usually I can just have some coffee and I'm good. And then last but not least, this is the weight of the entire thing. I have two gigantic things of their um, energy drinks, which I buy these all the time at Target now because they're literally sold at my Target's uh, dollar section. You can get them, they sell like all the flavors. So now I'm completely stocked up, don't need to buy these for a while. Um, and this is the Breeze Berry. Again, haven't tried this flavor. And then the other one they sent is actually one of my favorites that I have had. This is Cosmic Stardust. So a whole thing of these as well. So, uh, thank you Alani New for sending that. I was like fangirling so bad when they reached out to me. I was like, you want to send me something? I spend all of my money on Alani New. Like, I love you so much. <laughs> okay, and next I ordered some new jeans and bodysuits from Abercrombie. So I'll show you guys. I got these jeans. These are the skinny high-rise jeans. Obviously, I'm not going to try these on right now, but I will um, wear them eventually and I'll let you know like on Instagram or something if I think they're absolutely amazing. But yeah, here's what they look like. They just have one rip in the knee and they're like a straight leg. So not like super tight, but just above the ankle kind of a fit. Two bodysuits, just basic black and white, and they just have little buttons. I love Abercrombie's bodysuits because they're just like the best material. So here's what this one looks like. And then it kind of like dips down in the back. Super cute. I will link these in the description. I also like their bodysuits because they have a snap enclosure, which is nice. So I also just got one in black, so same thing. And then from Free People, I ordered one thing. It's the very iconic uh, In Movement shorts. Just been seeing these all over the internet and they look really, really nice, and I like them because they're higher rise than my Lululemon workout shorts. So I thought I would give these a try. Probably already seen them on the internet, so I just got one pair in black, and I just wanted to try them out. Just wanted to make sure I like the style and the fit, and if I do, I'll probably order some more. I would like to get like a white pair and then maybe like one colored pair, but they are pretty cute. I got medium because everyone said to size up in these, so hopefully, the medium will work. Okay, so this is something else that I did already open, but I'm gonna link it in the description. It's from the brand Our Place, and it is a new everything pan. This pan literally does it all. That's why it's called the everything pan. I picked the color um, in spice, and it is just so beautiful and aesthetic. Here's what it looks like. It comes with like a little steamer so you can steam veggies, and it's also deep enough so you can use it to like boil noodles and stuff. Um, and then it also has like this wooden spoon, but the cool part is it actually attaches right here. So it's like completely hands free. You don't have to like set it down on one of those spoon rests. You can just put it right there while things are cooking and the lid still fits in even with that. So I'm just obsessed with this whole thing. I haven't cooked with it or anything yet. Um, I'll link the everything pan in the description if you guys want to check it out. And then of course, whenever Chad and I first cook with this, you guys are gonna find out if it's worth the hype. Filling up the bathtub right now, don't mind my under eyes. I just rubbed the heck out of them and I didn't care because I'm about to take my makeup off, so. You guys know, but if you don't, the best way to remove your makeup is with this stuff right here. This is the Green Clean by Pharmacy. It's a uh, cleansing balm and it just melts your makeup right off. Just get some of it like that and you just rub it on. And watch as it Literally just melts your makeup off. See my makeup? You don't have to rub very hard. It's just a lot more gentle and it's way more effective too. I feel like this really removes your makeup. And you can use it all around your eyes too. Just make sure you keep your eyes shut. Still breaking out pretty bad over here. I had a facial done on Monday. Um, she did like extractions all down here and so it's not like puffy at all anymore. So I'm really hoping that's not gonna be scarred using my first aid beauty to cleanse. I have been using like a customized skincare lately, the proven skincare, but it's in the other bathroom. So I'm just thought I'll use this. This is also like my go-to favorite cleanser. I'm back home from spray tanning, as you can probably tell, looking super tan. While I let myself marinate, I'm going to work on cleaning this disaster of an office that you see behind me. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and I just woke up a few minutes ago, and I'm just laying in bed on my phone. I actually did make my bed, but then I, like, hopped in bed again. But we are getting up, and I'm going to go to the gym. But I'm going to actually try my pre-workout today. This is a pre-workout. I showed it to you guys yesterday. Um... 
I am really excited to try this, but I will say that I've only ever tried pre-workout one time in my life. And it was when Chad and I first started dating like six years ago or so. And I uh, had the tingling feeling really bad and I did not like it at all, but I'm excited to give this a try because Alani New is a brand that I trust and I'm only gonna do half of a scoop to start out where it's like normally the full scoop, but I'm just gonna do half and try it out and see if it really makes a big difference. I don't usually do pre-workout, I usually take BCAAs to help with muscle recovery, but I just wanna try this because they did send it to me and I wanna see if it actually makes a difference in my workout. You have to drink this 30 minutes before, so I'm gonna kinda take my time getting ready for the gym because it's supposed to be 30 minutes before your workout. So like this would be a full scoop. I am <clears throat> only gonna do half. I'm so excited, but I'm also scared. Probably not a big deal. So many people drink pre-workout, but you know me. I have to be a baby. It smells really good. It smells like blue raspberry. I'm gonna chill on the couch for a few minutes while I drink this, and I'm gonna taste test it for you guys. Uh, our house is so clean. We literally cleaned the whole house last night, and I did not vlog it. I should have because you guys like the cleaning stuff, but we were just in the zone. I was cleaning for like four hours. I finally cleaned up my office and it is like spotless in there for the first time in forever. And then we did our bedroom and the living room. We dusted and mopped and disinfected and organized and just like waking up in the morning to a completely clean house makes me feel like I might actually get some work done today here. <laughs> he does not want me to uncover it. I always make him leave his nose out to make sure he can breathe because he likes to like suffocate himself and I'm always scared he's not gonna be able to breathe. So I like untuck just his nose to make sure he can breathe. Ew, don't mind what I look like, but taste test. Oh my gosh, this tastes like candy. Literally tastes like a blue raspberry lollipop or something. And can I get one blue, ras blue raspberry slushy? <laughs> If you know what that's from, cheers. You watch TikTok. I have to do a quick gym fit because these are those new shorts that I just got and oh my gosh, I totally get why everyone is obsessed with them. Please go buy these right now. I promise you will not regret them, especially if you're someone who likes the high-waisted fit of like leggings and shorts and just things in general. These are so comfortable and they are high rise. I do feel like I could have sized down to a small because they keep like coming up right here, you know what I mean? They're like a little bit big, um, but not enough for me to return them because obviously I'm wearing them right now. So I think I'm gonna get some more pairs for sure though. And I'm kind of wondering if they might like shrink a little bit. I don't mind like a little bit of extra space. I'm just hoping they're not gonna move around too much while I'm working out. Um, but at the same time, I don't want this band like super tight either. So I almost feel like it's fine. Um, and I got the size medium for reference, but I'm gonna get some more of these in other colors. I am obsessed. They're like really long in the back, which is amazing. So you don't have to worry about your butt hanging out. So I'm just wearing these. And then this is the Lululemon Energy sports bra. Crisscross is in the back. Also featuring my two horrible um, burns from yesterday, because I suck. <laughs> um, hair up in a nice ponytail. And then I'm wearing these Adidas um, sneakers. I actually got these from Costco for 30 bucks. Like so proud of that. I don't even know which ones they are, but I will find them because I'm sure they're online somewhere. Okay, I just got to the gym. I'm about to go in. It has been 30 minutes that this has been running through my bloodstream. And I will say that I do feel like my heart rate is increased, <laughs> but I don't feel like I'm tingling, which is good. But I do feel like I'm like, ready to work out I don't I don't know how to explain that like I just feel like my heart's racing um because I'm like excited to work out or something but yeah and before anyone says anything about my heart I just want to address the fact that I was told by my doctor and both of my cardiologists I have a specialty cardiologist and then just a regular adult cardiologist um that I didn't have to make any lifestyle changes at this time and that it is perfectly fine for me to consume caffeine and pre-workout is caffeine so um 
so there's no concern there. I mean, obviously if I was doing like excess amounts of it or dry scooping or planning on doing this every day for the rest of my life, like that would not be good for anyone's heart, but it is safe for me to consume like supplements and stuff. So let's go work out. We're gonna do upper body today. I'm back home now. I wanna show you guys my stats. I've actually been home for a little bit now, but I left this up to show you guys. So 289 active calories, 352 total. And then my workout was 54 minutes. Average heart rate of 132 and it got up to 162. I do wanna give you guys my honest first impression of the pre-workout. I really, really liked it. I just felt more energized. I didn't get any tingly feeling, which is what I was absolutely terrified of. Um, so, you know, I did only do half a scoop, but maybe if I did the full scoop, that would happen. But I feel like the half a scoop was plenty for me. So I will probably continue to use it and then just do the half a scoop because it really did give me more energy. I felt like just pumped during my workout and other than that I didn't really have anything else I mean I honestly think I would get the same effects if I just drank a big cup of coffee before I worked out so you could do that too it just felt like I was caffeinated anyways I just washed my everything pan from our place and I'm finally about to use it and I thought I would test the non-sticking capabilities for you guys so I'm gonna fry a couple of eggs and I'm not gonna spray the pan even though Chad and I use non-stick pans and I always spray them anyway because I feel like it always sticks um, but I'm gonna see if these stick. So this could be a disaster, but we're gonna see. Having myself some berries, get those antioxidants in. Oh, these are organic. I don't normally buy organic. I think that was a mistake, but they were on sale. So that's why I grabbed them. So far, so good. They look yummy. This one looks like it's running away. And bubbles forming. Okay, I think it's time to flip. So let's see if it sticks. It, it did not stick at all. This is amazing. 10 out of 10. Here is the final look of my breakfast. Just the berries, the two fried eggs, and then I just made a piece of toast and I'm gonna try and drink this whole glass of water as well. Another thing about the pre-workout is I actually feel like I drank so much more water during my workout than I normally do. That could just be in my head, but I mean, I definitely drank more water, but it could just be in my head that it was related to the pre-workout, but I don't know. Just sharing my experience. Nothing does it for me like some toast. Most of you guys know I take birth control. Um, and so I skip my periods a lot because I take the birth control pill and I just go right into the next pack, which according to my doctor and my gynecologist is perfectly safe and fine. In fact, they say I never have to have a period, but I always try to give myself one every third month. So I only skip two times and then I have a period. Um, and so, you know, conveniently I'm on it right now, but I have really, really bad cramps. I've noticed that if I try to skip it more than two times, I will end up having cramps and having spotting anyway. If you're a male, sorry that you're listening to this. But for the females who can relate, anyway, what is the point of this? I wanted to say that I have cramps and I, I guess I'm just curious what you guys do if you get bad cramps on your period other than like a heating pad and ibuprofen because I always do heating pad, ibuprofen or Tylenol. Um, but I feel like I always get really bad cramps and birth control is supposed to help with that, but I still always get really bad cramps. But I don't want to switch my birth control, even though like that could help, you know, switching up the birth control, but I don't like the feeling of changing what I've been so used to for so long. Other than that, I love my birth control. I just feel like it doesn't help with the cramping. So I'll be perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden it will happen. And I'm like bent over the table, freaking crying because it's like, contractions almost. I know that sounds so weird. Like obviously I've never been pregnant, but it feels like contractions. Do anyone else's cramps feel like literal contractions? I need like a home remedy or something for cramps. And I've also tried teas. I'm literally eating my egg with my hand right now. I'm going to end this so I can eat. <laughs>